what's up people you're welcome to yet another vlog i'm going to make my hair today please don't mind the table at all i beg don't concentrate on that table don't be looking on my gorgeous stuff i'm going to make my hair do my nails and then go to shop i'm going to the supermarket to get some things that i don't have again at home so it's what's the time now i think it's past two o'clock now so hopefully i get done like everything i'm back home by seven o'clock i think it's done it's possible i'll show you the style that i want to make and show you a little bit of the salon and all of that okay and um yes let's go i'm talking too much let's just go right let's go this is how i look still my telling beauty in the end of the day <laughs> all right guys let's go so these are the things that i want to get at the supermarket um, i want to get power oil a freshener chicken and all of that phone is ringing I'm just <laughs> entering the house so when I got back from the supermarket I went to get some other things I don't know if I'm going to be unboxing with you because um there's no light and then you can hear the sound of generator here and there see the way I am sweating I just switched on the generator you people ah, super tired should i unbox i think i should unbox a few people i think i should unbox okay all right i got cutting wool because i'm not cutting water cutting wool the nail that i did it's about to cut i can't believe this i'll go back there tomorrow I will go. I said I know I said I wasn't going to go out but what's this? No, I'm going to go. So I got myself this 
hairspray for my hair. Coconut hand wash for the toilet. Shaving stick. White powder. They've abused me, so I'm getting my above white powder. Then I got this body mist. I use for men. <laughs> I like it. It lasts longer. Then I got this air fresh now. ROV. So I also got myself chicken. I got um, whole chicken. I just right also, and I've put that one in the freezer. I don't intend to cook today. I also went out to buy pepper. So when I got back, I went to get pepper, gari, and all of those things. But I don't intend to cook tonight because I am freaking tired. So I'll cook tomorrow. Go and meet them for these meals because. What the what in the name of Jesus is this? No, they need to come out. Ah, kine kine. All right, guys. See ya tomorrow. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to the next day. Today, see see the nails I did. Sure you can see everything chopped off. Everything open. Everything removed. I'm going back home. Yeah, so I no go go back go do I go go. Anyway, I'm trying to get some work done, and um, after now, okay, let me give you a rundown. So thankfully today, Nepa was gracious enough with light, so I blended pepper. The pepper I bought yesterday, I blended the pepper. I bought the pepper. I think I'm going to show you. Um, cooking and I'm, I'm, i'll try to show you cooking i'm not really good with those things but i will try because it's just me but i will try my best i have washed you know thankfully washing machine because you know light and all of that so i sharply washed some very very important clothings clothing some very important clothing i washed and now i'm getting work done i intend to finish the first half of my work maybe by one o'clock so I'm going to cook by two. Yes, I need a lot of momentum to cook. I'm not that kind of person that likes cooking. So, the way she wala she ma she o she girl me. All right, guys. Fam, so I'm going back to the salon so that they gonna fix my. What is this? Uh uh. What was this? In this time, there's no need to be wasting money. I'm going back there. I said I wasn't gonna go out today. I'm stepping out all day. I'm stepping out to go and do it. We can't kill all day. Kill all day. I like my yo, oh my god. I look good there. <laughs> I intend to do a sit down vlog today. I'm not sure what exactly I want to talk about, but I'll just, you know, put you guys through it to afternoon. There's a school beside the house, so I, have, I intend to vlog when they are done. Yeah. See you guys. I'm still working. You can hear the sounds of the generator. It's so crazy working from home. In Nigeria it's so crazy right now there's no light the fuel prices everything is just against you I don't understand but I'm praying really because this is like the most darkest period or season that this this country has 
ever been like experienced and all of that that's why it baffles me that i see young people supporting these old men that have ruined this country basically literally but anyway what do i know i'm still working on i'm still working here let me show you my laptop i need to sleep a bit because i don't know this thing happens to me almost every time in recent times now i will just my eyes will just start clocking together and all of that so i want to sleep after sleeping like i just want to take a nap for an hour get up finish up on some of the things i need to do and then go and get well i need to get full today How are you doing? You're welcome to Salvation Therapy. My name is Ono Zassi. Salvation Therapy is a book of uplifting stories, uplifting conversations that help you heal, that help you interact better with the world, you know, with the light of God, of Jesus in it. So today, I hope that I, and I really hope that you enjoyed the vlog. So my people have said that you want me to be doing vlogs, they want to be seeing things around me, and I'm going to be doing that. So as we share, and as we share our conversations as we have our stories and everything but also going to be putting vlogs in between today you have seen the <laughs> you have seen the title huh. so i want to share with you the moment i lied that god said when god actually did not say a thing and this happened to be in relationship so back then when i was in school i was on to go i don't know if you ever used to go up but i used to go up and and i got to meet this guy through a mutual friend this mutual friend happened to be my friend and we're quite good we flow and all of that and so this person actually told that guy that you know i'd like you to meet this babe she's a very nice person she's a spirit coco kind of girl and all of that so we started to talk on to go and the conversation was going smooth the conversation was going so nice conversation was going so sweet i mean i really enjoyed the conversation and as at the time when jimmy wasn't like a thing 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 that it is now amongst the men this guy was already jimmy he had a beautiful bomb thing i mean it was it was cool and i am a sucker for fine boys i like fine boys a lot so um let me not lose focus so um we started you know chatting and then he said he was going to come to my school to come and visit me. And guess what? He came and did not come alone. He came with his eldest brother. And I'm like, this is a family-oriented guy. You people should not laugh for well, don't laugh at me. Like this is a family-oriented guy. He came all the way with his brother. Man, this is super. And of course, it's super no he started having sort of connection with him. And according to him, he was having the same connection with him would we'll talk every time we we'll do i think we did a stroke hold or something we're going to we're just talking and talking and talking and talking and then one day he said he wanted me to be his girlfriend and i liked it it sounded so cool it sounded so you know so wonderful as at that time i had a friend in the fellowship that we used to pray together so i told him about it that there was this guy i told him his name and the guy was like ah, i know him now i know because you know um, he recited in Ibadan and this other guy also recited in Ibadan so I think they kind of, they sort of um, connected via jam lesson or something before he gained admission so I, it was like ah, I know him now I don't know that and I said okay pray and I remember the guy was saying it's not like a, a standard it's not like your own standard in faith and i don't think that the both of you can connect i kept saying oh no let's pray about it let's be very sure that that's what god is saying don't let us judge people of course valid point but also what he was trying to tell me was quite valid like babes you need to calm down and first first of all i got carried away by the conversations we were having i got carried away by the fact that he had lots of he had issues at that time so i was feeling like a therapist i was feeling like holy spirit that was going to engage in a relationship with him to sort of you know help him with this life drama you know and that's a very wrong thing to do it's a very wrong thing to do don't even try it you are not the holy spirit you are not jesus if you want to talk to somebody if you want somebody to be healed if you want somebody to be saved you pray for the person you don't have to be in a relationship with the person so um 
Okay, so we started, you know, praying about it. The guy prayed about it and he told me that he didn't get any leading in his spirit. I said I was still praying about it. I told some of my friends about it. And I remember that when a friend of mine was saying, Are you sure that this is what it is like this? Like, are you really sure that you really know this person? Like, you met the person online, you really don't know the character of this person. I want to be praying because he said, she asked. I said, Okay, let's pray. So, all other people did not get a leading, like, they didn't really get a word or anything. But guess what? I said I did. And I did not. I just told them that, okay, God was saying yes. And you know, it's going to be a redefining moment. It's going to be this and this and that. And I was giving them so many English, so many grammar. And I liked that God said it was, I should, that God said I should go into that relationship. But actually, I didn't hear anything. I did not hear. It was my feelings. It was my emotions. It was me wanting to, you know, be involved with a fine one and let me tell you i suffered in that relationship Bagbe. Bagbe, i suffered in that relationship i mean what didn't i give i will share my food stuff i will me will never chop in the food i was giving man my thing like that was it didn't reciprocate the love it didn't reciprocate the time it didn't reciprocate. it was it was it was it was it was it wasn't worth it it wasn't worth it my dear, it was not worth it. And this is to tell you that, see, let me let you know that the principle is this. God will tell you what he wants you to do. If you argue with him, it doesn't take it away from the table. He's still going to tell you that this is what I want you to do. But it is it is better for you to obey him. Because if not, you're going to learn the hard way. Like me, you're going to learn the hard way. I remember the way we ended the relationship. It was so funny. He came to visit me in school. He packed his friends to my place. Like, he packed, oh my God. My roommate, Christiana, God bless you. She was like, and my other roommate, Priscilla. They were like, my, who, who is this person that Gracie is dating? Who is this person that this girl is dating? Like, who is he? Oh, oh. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the voice of God in your life. Don't say you know it better, you truly do not. And there is something that I also want you to know that when you go ahead to tell people that God has told you something about it, something as delicate as a relationship, if they hear otherwise, they're not going to let you know. They're not going to enter into you because you've come to tell them that this is what God is saying and it's your life. And they're like, okay, if you think God is saying yes, um, let her do what you know is best that she has heard God say. Nobody's going to argue with you. Nobody's going to um, say you're lying if you didn't hear God. You come out and say you did not hear God. Then for you to lie that you heard God when you did not hear God because at the end of the day you'll be the one to suffer it. You'll be the one to cry and you know be the one to go through all the emotions and all of that. So come clean. Don't allow your emotions to allow your feelings cloud you. Don't make sure that you really heard God say that is the person for you. Go into that relationship. Make sure you really heard God. Even in business, hear him say, go into the business. That's what I want you to do. Do this. That's what I want you to do. If you did not hear him, wait till you hear him. Don't assume that you heard him. Don't just feel like that is the right thing to do. Because feeling like is not the same as hearing him say, go. All right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you have ever been in such a mix, Please share with me in the comments. I also want to beg you to like this video. Please like it. It helps visibility a lot. Please like it and please subscribe to the channel. I'm begging you to please subscribe. Share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe. My name is Onozasi and I'll see you again in the next one. This is your Salvation Therapy.